Hi there folks, Kevin Carroll here with your PM update looking ahead to Sunday's edition of the Times Leader. Here with me today is my colleague Mary Therese Beeble who recently collaborated with our news gathering partners at Eyewitness News, WBREWYOU, on a special report about the cost of eggs and how it's affecting consumers. Mary Therese, can you tell us a little bit about what you were working on? Sure. Emily Allegrucci and I visited with two businessmen who told us how they're trying to keep prices low for the consumer. That would be um, David Crappa over at the Avenue Restaurant and Catering in Wyoming and Gary Scheel at Scheel's Family Market in Wilkesbury. Then we talked to two families who are raising their own chickens and getting their own eggs. One of those families wants to sell those eggs at a farm stand within the next few weeks. And since I am one of the Times Leader test cooks, I have included some tips for using substitutes for eggs in cooking and baking. Thank you, Mary Therese. We hope you will all check out that special report in Sunday's edition of the Times Leader. In other news, Bill O'Boyle has a look at some business developments in Nanticoke and Wilkes-Barre. Mary Therese has a look ahead to the very popular German night, which is returning to St. Nicholas Church for the first time since 2020. And I was at a local consignment shop where a bunny rabbit was the star of a very special event today. Don't forget, folks, the nomination phase of our Times Leader Best of the Best Awards is underway. Visit timesleader.com slash best of the best to nominate your favorite local business. And remember, folks, if you're not already a Times Leader subscriber, all you have to do is call 829-5000 or visit timesleader.com slash subscribe. That's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.